Thank you so much. Our friends at LAMP Asia. What a great energy yesterday being with all of you, and especially last night celebrating with all of you. I want to tell you a little story um, just so that you can understand the, the depth of my gratitude for being with you today before I talk to you about my breakout. At the end of January, my mom, who was 71 years old, um, my mom and dad had just gotten back from a trip for a couple of weeks, and she was having trouble kind of gaining her energy back from uh, getting back from that trip. So she went to the doctor, and to her surprise, the doctor immediately sent her to the hospital. She didn't feel that ill, uh, but obviously the doctor had some very serious concerns. She found out in the hospital that she had uh, started accumulating fluid on her lungs, and they checked her in immediately. I lived two hours from my parents, so my sister had called me, and I was headed that way to, to make sure that everything was okay. When I got to the hospital, they had drained the fluid from my mom's lungs, and she was starting to feel a little bit better, so that was really encouraging. But overnight, when we got back to the hospital, we learned that fluid had started building around her heart. And that fluid that was building around her heart caused her to have a heart attack, actually, and a stroke. So just an avalanche of health issues all at once. Uh, they removed the fluid from around her heart. They did what they could to stabilize her. They flew us to a bigger hospital because we do live in a very rural area. And my mom was in ICU for over two weeks on a respirator. During that time, we learned that she had stage four lung cancer and that that was uh, the beginning of the avalanche of health issues for her. At this time, the oncologist met with us and let us know that without treatment, she would have four months to live. And so we began the work of getting things in order uh, w during that time period, my sister and my dad and I spent pretty much every waking moment at the hospital with her. And I was actually getting ready to leave to go to LAMP in the United States, in Nashville. And I had a meeting with my dad and my sister and our uh, hospice nurse. And they said, you know what, we've got four months, you know, this is a big priority, you go do that, we'll spend more time together when we get back. I actually left my home. I ran home to pack some things, left my home, came back, and when I got back to the facility that my mom was in, the hospice nurse kept, caught me in the hallway and said, Michelle, things have taken a turn for the worse. And she let me know that probably we had days, not months, with my mom. So on March 9th of this year, we lost my mom to stage four lung cancer. And the reason that I share that story with you is so that you'll understand the depth of my gratitude of getting to be here with you for Lamp Asia. I was grieving the loss of my mother and the loss of Lamp at the same time. For me and my business, professional development is a big, big priority. And LAMP, every year, is at the top of my list for re-energizing, refocusing, gaining new ideas, spending time with people um, who are in a different place than I am, just like Kelly talked about. Um, so I'm just so deeply grateful to get to spend this time with you, learning alongside you, and being inspired, and learning new ideas. So just quickly, because I only have a few minutes, um, a little bit about me. You can see my title on the screen is Regional Vice President. I've had that title for all of 15 days. I, um, I was an agency manager prior to that, so I was in most of your shoes. I had an agency of 27 people. We have 55 sales associates in that agency. I'm in a very rural part of Kansas, in the middle of the United States. My smallest community has around 1,500 people, and my largest has around 25,000 people. So the, the people that have been on the main stage were very different, right? I'm not in 
San Diego. I, I'm not in Dallas. I'm not in a great big uh, metropolitan area. I'm in a very rural part of the middle of the United States. And the thing that I want to leave you with, and, and Kelly hit on this, is we're all in different places in our journeys. And we don't have to be the same demographically to be able to grow together. And sometimes at this time in the meeting is when it feels we're energized, we're excited, but sometimes it starts to feel a little overwhelming too as we're trying to sort through what we're going to implement when we get back into our businesses. So I just want to reassure you, based on Gamma Foundation's recent research, best practices no longer mean that we need to be cookie cutter. I don't need to do it exactly the way Chris does it, or the, exactly the way Ed does it, or Adam, or Kelly. I can take my strengths and the resources that I have available to me for my agency, and I can tailor those strategies to help us go farther faster. So, if you're interested in joining me for my workshop this afternoon, I'm going to talk about the journey from surviving to thriving. And that survival mode we all feel from time to time, maybe more often actually than thriving, where we're reactive and we're just trying to stay on top of everything that's coming at us and we don't get to spend as much time as we would like being proactive in our business. So there are four cornerstones that I'm going to go over with you in the workshop this, uh, this morning a little bit deeper, starting with vision, culture, planning, and process. You've heard a lot about vision and culture. That's kind of the, the who part of what we do. It's the people part of what we do and what we build and what we want to attract people to. Um, and then planning and process is kind of the how part. What are the things that we do? You know, vision and culture are the connection piece, and planning and process is the consistency piece. What are the daily habits? What are the things that we do every day that can move us into thriving in our business? So if you come to the workshop, we're going to assess where you are. So you'll do that personally, where you are in each of those four key areas. You can determine, uh, we're going to share ideas. We can determine next steps for you as you go back out into your business. And you'll actually walk out of the workshop with a plan you can execute when you get back in. So I'll be in 201 A, B, and C. And I hope that you'll join me. Thank you so much for having me. Thanks, Michelle. All right, everybody, I'm going to give you housekeeping as uh, the schedules of